Okay, I think we're live. This is what I'm doing. Throwing that mic. I want that. I'm throwing this other mic that's not turned on. Okay, I think we're live. All right. We got to have that true? awkward start to a live video of I think we're live. I think we're live. But we're I don't think your uh, live is mic live. My what? I don't think your live is live. Live is live. Mm -hmm. Live is live. Yeah, because there's only like one right here. What do you mean? You have mine. What are you talking about? You have mine. Wait. What did you do with... Oh, no, I was going to just keep one on the table. That way you kind of have two options. So that one's mine. This is technical issues, as I'm pretty sure we're actually live right now. I'm going to check if we're live, but I think all this is being broadcasted to the Internet. We are totally alive right now. There's some feedback, I think, but hey, we'll roll with it. So we have about one minute to discuss what we think this is. So if, uh, if you want to share, Chris, what kind of camera do you think we're getting? I think we're going to get one minute. No one can actually probably hear you. So, anyhow, um, we are starting in two minutes apparently. So, who's excited to learn about this new Sony camera? I don't really know why we're doing this. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a last minute decision. We had something we were supposed to attend this morning and it got canceled. So, we decided, hey, let's set up a bunch of camera gear and take way too long to set it all up in order to uh, react to whatever Sony is announcing today. I'm hoping it's something good. Um, some people I know are selling their A7S 3s so maybe we're getting some kind of replacement for that or something that's better than that. Um, let me know what you think it is. Um, I have not live streamed on YouTube in years this way, so I'm not even really sure how to see comments or even see if anyone is watching. So I will try to figure that out on my end here. Yo, what's up, chat? Yo, you can just ignore this guy. Nah, don't ignore me. You got your water bottle on frame. We're gonna get sued. We're not gonna get sued. There is actually two people watching right now. That's crazy. They're probably not real people. It's probably a bot. But hey, let's go. So we're actually gonna make a more polished version of this. But we figured if we could go and the extra mile and live stream it, why not? And that'll be on your voice channel over here. But for the current time, is it just live on your channel? It's live on my channel. Can you do like a co collaborate live stream? I don't think so. I've, I've never heard you should of that. go live on Facebook. I don't know on YouTube. So all your uh, aunts and uncles can see you react to a camera video. I think I have more people following me from networking events than I do my actual family now. Nice. For some reason, they all follow me on Facebook. So yeah, you can use this as your presenter. Shout mom. out to the Facebook aunts. It's like. You're a little yeah, off. You're like, you're a little off. You gotta. You're you're ten seconds off. I'm, I'm. Oh, 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 come on. All right, let's go. This is just a present monitor. Go to my channel. You can see. Channel? Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, some. That's a little this one. What is this? Well, yeah, I guess the rumors are true. Sony A7C2. With probably like an A7 IV body. Or the A7CR. Yeah, that's obviously a 7 So this camera got leaked like a month ago from um, overseas markets. So from what I heard is that they had a yeah, hybrid camera, A7C, just like the one before. Flippy gonna, camera, flippy screen. This could either be the C2 or the CR, because the CR was supposed to have higher quality, but I feel like that confuses the, the lines of what kind of are. So what do you get more hyped for, a Sony camera announcement trailer or a Marvel movie trailer? Neither one. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel, no. Oh, there's two, okay. Yeah, the C. Oh, just different. They got that like the retro, film camera yeah. look. Yeah. Okay. The uh, Vinchar is not over yet, so probably one more dedicated to stills. Yeah. Same camera, but 
I like the subtitles. Yeah, those are. R. Maybe this is only for pirates. The Sony A7R. Oh, 61. Yeah, so okay, it has it's more megapixels. Okay, so. But those, it's the smaller the body. Are true, 7CR, yeah. okay. Would you buy. No, I don't even know if I want to watch the rest of this stream. <laughs> I have like no interest in started, either of these up. cameras. I'm, I got paid to set up, man. <laughs> I have like really no major interest in either of these. I think it's just one of those things where older cameras, even though they specialize in different things, I feel like they kind of have a major overlap that it's a little harder for me to get excited. Yeah. I guess it depends on the price. Like, I mean, right now my kit, you know, like for weddings, it's usually about four cameras. The only camera that's kind of lacking right now is the A6600. Otherwise, I have two A7S threes and an A7 IV. So like maybe if it was like super cheap, I would just go ahead and get the A6600 replaced and just have everything the exact same. You know but, what I don't get? Uh, they're showing us all this cool stuff with different cameras, but like it's like the same thing with GoPro. Just because I'm buying the camera doesn't mean I'm buying the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I kind of don't get like them showing all the features. I don't get it. Oh, A7C. Right. Oh, it's just oh, the A7C. Okay. <laughs> Like that's yeah, that's what I'm wondering. And I don't I think I, I think there's dial. still not a viewfinder. No, the viewfinder's lacking. There is a front. But dial it now. is pretty big Look, on the here. side, so they might have um, like true HDMI and stuff. The thing is, for web content creation, I feel like that camera is perfect. I I would prefer getting it over the ZB series because I don't have I have trust issues with the ZB series, um, especially with overheating issues. But it's just for a wedding, as us as wedding videographers, I can't see that be like the best option. Cause I mean, right now I'm willing to put 1800 for an FX30. That's so much more value for the 300 bucks compared to A7C at 1500. Yeah. And I feel like with smaller camera bodies, I haven't personally had the issue of clients, you know, kind of, <laughs> I haven't had the issue of clients looking at a smaller camera body and being like, oh, can you do this job? Well, I've heard of stories where they've had that. However, bringing bigger bodies to a shoot impresses the client, so it's kind of like, I don't want to... They got the animal eye autofocus again, which is good. I don't think they ever actually added that to A7S III. Really? Uh, I don't think so. I, maybe I maybe I'm wrong. Focus mapping maybe that was like, you know what that might be? That might have been the one thing they updated, but they didn't add anything else, so I could have it backwards, but... The camera looks nice though, I mean, but I it's like probably hard to yeah. use for the most part. With the, like with the lack of buttons and dials and... I'd rather I would say the adding the front dial makes me more excited. As Cindy Tone, so people use that, that's okay. a plus. So what do we got? I'm kind of confused what's going on with, oh, that's why. So oh. we can't see. Take this a cuddle off. Okay, yeah, you have an expanded display, so it doesn't really get in the way of the frame. I like that. Breathing conversation. That's okay. good. Yeah, I've heard about this. Um, what's that program that Sony, you can like have unstabilized footage in the screen? Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but... Um, it's good. Oh, there is a viewfinder, okay. Did the other one have a viewfinder? Yeah, it's just tiny. Like, yeah. it's not like quality. There's a video photo mode, which is nice. Yep, that's what I'm <coughs> Front dial. Oh, I think they did have a front dial, but they didn't have a back dial. It was one of them. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. that's probably right, because uh, the A6600 and, like, those cameras, mm -hmm. they don't have... So, is there... Yeah, there's a back dial. Yeah, so those ones, until, like, the newest one, they didn't have a front and back dial. They only had one. Which is what turned me away, because I didn't want to relearn how to customize the settings when I already found a system of customization of it. There's some warp stabilization on that shot. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that was wobbly. So I wonder if we'll get any new lenses too. I thought that was Timothy Chalamet or something. The shots are so funny to me. Yeah, yeah. Is this 
This is how I walk to every shoot that I go to. <laughs> In slow motion. I want to know if the R has like anything else video wise, even though it's more geared towards photo, like does it do 8K or something absurd like that? What's the purpose of having a hybrid camera and then a hybrid photo camera? So wouldn't that just be the photo camera? Because there's more photographers and videographers. Photogra photographers need... But it's marketing itself as a hybrid camera, so why would we need a photo variation of it? Why For stuff like that, like landscape, but you're on a budget and you want to be able to like crop in and stuff. I think that's really the biggest draw is the fact that it's like two times the megapixel of the other one. So if you really want those crazy, like, yeah, like stuff like that. But now you don't need this because you have Photoshop AI that can just make up stuff, so. Fair enough, but <clears throat> I, could put, I could potentially see this be for like um, a startup, like you see those TikTok photographers who land that big job and they get their photo on a billboard. Like they probably don't have enough budget to put on a big camera, but if they get a small camera with higher capability, like a big sensor, you, they can still have the chance of putting those photos up on billboards and stuff like that. I don't know, that's just personal. It just, it does, it's, I don't know. But it seems like it's pretty much the same camera, it's just, it has, yes. well that's different. I think the, the R5 has That's that crazy. Too. That's crazy small, it's still 50 megapixels. That's still more megapixels than the A7S3. Really? <laughs> yeah, for photo. What did that mean? We have basically like 8K hyperlapses then? Yeah. Well, no, even more than that, I think. Oh. Screw all this fancy stuff, man. If you're a good photographer, you can just manual focus all day. Great for natural life photographers right there. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, that guy looks very suspicious in the uh, bottom right corner. <laughs> you can take photos of random people's animals. I feel like we're watching the same presentation. It's just good. Even works on trains. Oh, I thought that was the, you know, the, the scary, the scary clip of the car going down. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought it was for a second. That would be I genius on Sony's part if they added that in. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> shout out to anyone who uses these creative looks. I actually used to when I shot on the A99 because it didn't have picture profiles and I wanted a flatter image, so I neutral used... Mode? Yeah, I used neutral I, that's mode. That's what I'm doing on the Canon right now. Because it doesn't have no profile picture. It just has uh, creative looks. Yeah, I don't know. It's all compact till you put a 7200 on it. I wonder what the price point is. Oh, they're going to wait till the very, very end to tell you that. Or they might not even tell you that. You have to go on B&H's website to find out. So would it? Oh. No, I don't know if they did that <coughs> Oh, I was hoping it had the, yeah, the A5 one, yeah. yeah. Nope. Would you pay for a mod to add that to your existing camera? Nah, I don't think I'd really use it that much. For my A7 IV, I would pay like 200 for that mod. Those no things are so that. useful, like they have that in the A7 IV now, and having that like hide your sensor, because these things get so much dust. cell phones have done for over 10 years. Okay, so video, what do we got? Full frame 4K, 60, 6.2K over sample. Oh, I think that's a crop, hold on, let me. Log recording. Mm -hmm. 4K 60 is cropped, 1.2 crop. So it's pretty much like <clears throat> an A7 IV. 
with a smaller body and higher megapixel. Yeah. Or, no, I guess not really. I wouldn't even say it's that much smaller because, you know, you have a lens. What should we talk about? Oh wait, here we go, we got some stuff to read. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, focus map. Yeah, where's that in the A7S III? Live streaming, which is good. <laughs> I feel like we're just getting like the same shots That's over and over saying. again. But like, how can we milk this out for like an hour of your time? What are the comments like? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> oh, okay, they're all in Chinese. G Master, yep, we're getting a lens too, it looks like. World's smallest, lightest F2 wide angle zoom. What a price tag. Bigger than your money. We're filming this on an FX3 instead of the actual camera that this is originally about. 16, what is it, a 16 to 35? 16 to 35. Yeah, 16 to 35. So they already have a 16 to 35 2.8, right? Or was it only F4? Oh yeah, G Master too. So, so nothing new. It's just like an update to what they already have. What does that mean? Thinner glass. Like, um... It just means they want you to grade now. I hope that you have Did the money. Did the previous to it. G Master have vignetting? I find it weird that it would focus on um, the edges. Probably yeah. Oh, super glass. That's like some. Uh, that's like how Nintendo names are like new games nowadays. New super super new deluxe. That's what Sony should start doing. They should implement that kind of naming scheme. I think you're getting hit by the nostalgia kind of making the news. It's uh, the, the new Super Sony A7 III Deluxe. The A7 is the 6? <laughs> oh, is that G Master a power zoom? I don't know. Did they show? Yeah, maybe it is. I'm personally, I'm like enjoying, not enjoying, No, it's not. Good for uh, real estate and stuff. That lens is bigger than the camera. For 16 though? I'm surprised we haven't seen it. I'm curious how portable it really is because it keeps saying it's like super portable. Oh, well. Wow, it's like it heard me. So it is smaller. But it still looks like pretty big of a lens. So it's like double what a... I think that's still bigger than like my camera on one. Yeah. Probably a lot heavier. I feel like that's like a bad... I just can feel like a bad idea. Like, oh, you mean the lens is waterproof? <laughs> this model likes to look at the camera. Chicago, um, Detroit, Michigan. Could you imagine if they made one of these just like in Algonquin, Illinois or something? Why you gotta dox me like that? Why? <laughs> I think that, oh, you see, like, they're not even gonna give Yo, us imagine, pricing. We sat through your whole video, you can't even tell us how much it no costs. Pricing, man. All right, let's go to B&H and find out, or see if it's oh, in the no. chat, maybe. Imagine living in Shamir. <laughs> Imagine specifically living in one five. <laughs> They're saying exactly. three thousand and five thousand. That's probably not true. No, that's not true. Take my money. Well, then. oh I, yeah, switch our money around so we could just cut. B and H. Is there any other like reliable sellers? I feel like more people. eBay. Hi, I'm Chris Bray. I'm an Australian Geographic photographer, and I've also had my work bought by the likes of National Geographic and Discovery uh, Channel. Stop that. Okay, let's see here. We got our Sony A. So it's A7C2. Yep. Yeah, they should just start doing the new deluxe model. No, there's more for you. 
2198. That's basically well, okay. So then this basically is like it'd be funny if they want. charge more for the silver. They're like, yeah, we know you want this they do. for you hipsters. They do. We're gonna charge now. They, they did it with the first one. Okay. For a while, and then and then they that's got that's hilarious. Damage. That would be great if the game with that wide angle lens, but it comes with 28 to 60. Yeah, that's millimeters. basically just a ZB one, or Z so a seven four right now is what like 2400, 2600. Uh, just do a tab and search up the ZV-1 because I feel like that does the same camera as probably the Z-1 or whatever. Um, it's just, uh, has like overheating issues. What? <laughs> that's an expo that's going on. Uh, it's just, uh, search the Sony ZV-1. Alright, this isn't going like I thought. Okay, let's try this again. So, ZV-1. Oh, hey, there it is. ZV-1. I'm curious about that lens and how much that's going to cost because that's got to be a pretty penny. I'm gonna say like 2200. No, that's not it. ZV E1, I think. Yeah, right. There it is. Yeah, I feel like it's just the same. Camera. Oh, yeah, it's like pretty much the same price. It is literally the same price. But that would be better, right? Like, what does this have? That's like, that was meant for vloggers and that wanted a full frame camera. And that's like the big brother to the other ZV line. So, but I don't know what the back looks like. That's one, that's one thing I don't remember. But the ZV right, so one has major overheating We got issues. 10 bit. So yeah, it's it's all pretty much the same. Um, yeah, we're not cool enough to actually have the camera. So maybe, yeah. maybe one day. Let's switch it up, huh? <laughs> Give me that spot. Wait, but what would you prefer? Sony sponsorship or a BB Bob sponsorship? I think Bibby Bob is more practical. Yeah. Shout out to Bibby Bob. I'm not even joking. Um, you know, honestly, a food sponsorship would be full frame, 4K recording, uh, 30, 60, super crop. So like the A7 IV, and full HD 120. So no 4K 120, which I kind of figured. And there is a crop. 4K 60, no crop. Uh, 4K 60 crop. Yeah. Then it's just. So I'm fine with that. It's like a cheaper A7 IV with. A little less. I mean, not exactly, but. So let's look at the R as well. Yeah, I don't know much about my text. Okay, 3000. But I think it's it's just it's just the photo stuff, right? Like, I don't think we really is got it. Is that a bigger any... sensor or is that still full frame? It's full frame. I'm curious about overheating with these things, too. Like, I feel like that is going to be a problem. So, yeah, still 4K60. Is it crop? I don't see anything. Oh no, yeah, is if using a super. Wait, no. So I don't think it has to crop by default. Crop, yeah. It sounds like it's an option. You can choose to use crop or not. But still, just 4K 60. Full HDMI, HDMI, full HD at 120. Yeah. Uh, let's look at those lens because I'm curious about the lens almost more than the cameras. I'm surprised that they didn't release like a A7, like an A7S4. I generally was surprised. Uh, it's too soon, I think. I think they made too good of a camera with that. And it is unfortunate that they haven't added in stuff. Oh, I was pretty close. I thought it would be like 2200. So oh, 2298. I was expecting 2800. That's a... That's I don't think we have a date a on any of these. No, that's pretty much like what a wide angle lens that's a 2.8 cost. It's not it's not anything crazy. I mean So to the people who don't know, <clears throat> not me, but to the people who don't know, what's the appeal of a G Master? The G. Top G lens. I mean the master is cool, but the the G, G is what? Hmm? <laughs> I don't it, you know I I, nowadays, it's. I feel like it's changed a lot because Sigma and Tamron make really good lenses. I was gonna say, I feel like a third party. It's not like it used to be where it was yeah. like, well, you either need like a Zeiss or you need a G Master, or it just doesn't matter. But it does help define. So you know, Sony has non G Master lenses. So when you're comparing it to the Sony line, you know that hey, G Master is going to be really good, whereas you know, G for great and nothing for not great. <laughs> so um, you know, like comparing this to like. If like a 16 to 35 kit lens, you know, you're going to know that there's, the quality is higher. What that is, there's a lot of different factors. It might be the build quality. It might be the quality of the glass. 
the fact that it's a 2.8, you know, there's a lot of different factors, but um, yeah, so that's all we pretty much have. Um, my camera just, they don't see me anymore, so um, that's interesting. And I don't know. It's an A7S3 that they don't <laughs> want to update, look what happened. I don't know uh, what that's about, so we'll eventually go black on that screen over there. Um, anyhow. Oh, no, that was my audio, you see? You set me up to fail. Yeah, so um, that's funny, we're froze right now. Anyhow, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm going to buy. I definitely see this as like a really beneficial camera for anyone who's just starting out or you need like a B camera, C camera, and you want it to match like your E7S3 or your FX3 or something like that. Um, it is kind of interesting too because I feel like for filmmakers, the, the budget right now, like the good budget option is like the FX30. This isn't too much more. So if you are someone who does stills as well, this might be worth the upgrade because the body, even though it's still very compact, I feel like it's a little bit more built for stills as opposed to like an FX30 that really is trying to be a video camera. So, but what are your thoughts? You gonna buy one? Um, not unless my career has a trajectory that's more travel, I don't think I'll buy this. I feel like this camera is uh, kind of like on the same line as the ZV E1. I feel like from a consumer standpoint for vlogging and for YouTube, this would be like Sony's fix to the overheating issues and the the, the lack of capability that the ZV one has. I feel like I feel like it's kind of that. Um, but I'm still looking. Sorry, can you ask the question again? I don't know. <laughs> can you ask the question again? I don't know. I'm tripping. I'm, I'm tripping um, about like a thousand things right now. Are you? Do you have any interest in buying? No, not right now, and I don't think, I think this camera will only really be for you if you are kind of more in that travel space, if you are in that vlog space, or maybe like um, doing online content. I can see that camera being for you. Professionally, I don't see a fit for this camera unless it's like a, um, maybe for us, like a time-lapse camera we put at the edge room for the ceremony setup or reception setup and we give that to other vendors. Yeah. It's more like um, a camera that can help us give value for networking or like behind the scenes and stuff. I don't see this being a workhorse. Yeah, uh, I think this is a good like additional camera for anyone. Like I was kind of saying, I think if you're, if you're needing like an extra camera, like if you do stuff like events or weddings where it requires a bunch of cameras, um, I think this is awesome for that where you don't have to necessarily spend, you know, 3,500 to get an FX3 or FX or A7S3. Um, it's still cheaper even than an A7 IV. So if you're not really interested in all the features in ASAP 4 which to be honest, it pretty much has all the same features, it's just a different body. So if you're just looking to save a couple extra bucks, it's a it's a good alternative for that. But um, yeah, so we're going to wrap up now before everything is completely done. So thanks for tuning in. If you joined in, if you plan on buying one of these cameras, let me know. I'd love to get your thoughts on what you end up thinking of it. I'm curious just to see the overheating because with the small body, I feel like that's going to be an issue but yeah thanks for checking us out um this was super thrown together <laughs> so this is kind of rocky and i have no idea how it sounded or looked but we are going to make a polished version of this so look out for that coming soon uh chris anything else you want to say um yeah i'm definitely going to do some more research where i actually can look through stuff um we'll see if we get this camera but i probably don't see it being a fit in my gear but if you need something to be your, like if you have your line of cameras, your A camera, B camera, I can see this be the last on that number list or a great like social media camera. I think that might be the fit for you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll yeah, till next time. We'll see you at Bibby Bob. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll be at Bibby Bob. <laughs> That'd be so funny if I did that and then your tab was just like a punch in the face yeah. and then it cuts. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I should probably end the stream. <laughs> I think the stream, but not the stream. No, the stream.